Hi y'all, we're looking at the Mirror Coalition Repulsor Armor, which you can get from the event Defense of Pavo after completing 14 dailies. And we're going to go over its stats, test it in combat, and then go into the tailor, which my character is wearing right now, so <laughs> look forward to that. Anyways, so stats-wise, we're going to ignore the defensive stats because those are mostly marginal between um, armors. What's interesting is the 25% bonus damage while flanking, and then there's the extra repulsor burst, which upon testing it's very inconsistent and I could say it's pretty much useless. That being said, you can upgrade it, and once you have upgraded it, removed it from its infinity state, you can re-engineer. Anyways, let's go. So the range of it, the repulsor burst, is Horrible. <laughs> but I suppose that's cool, right? <laughs> and here to test range, we can approach this day one anthropod. So it's about 15 meters, it seems, or maybe just 12 meters, but somehow it doesn't, as you can see, it does not activate perfectly. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for combat tests. There's nothing much to it, to it much, so... Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> Let's go to the tailor. So oddly enough, this um, costume is found in the jacket tight category under Mirror Coalition, upper. And the other two pieces that it comes with is the badge and a collar. So, yeah optional color. I suppose it looks nice. Let me take these off so we can have a better look at the shoulders. But, um, I mean, it looks alright. I, I don't see much of uh, another thing too groundbreaking, I don't think. Well, the badge floats, <laughs> but that's expected from SEO um, uniforms. So, yeah, it's okay. I mean, um, I tried to replicate the colors we see um, from the preview. So, if you're interested in that, here they are. And this is, this is all the same for the Silver's A14. As for the collar, it's just following the S6 of the jacket itself. So overall, it's not bad, it's not great, but it's something. Overall, the repulsor burst is useless, almost, as you saw. The improved flank damage is not bad, but you could possibly get other armors that are way more beneficial to use. And also, you can have more than one of these, so... For example, if I were to put it on him, and then go back to reclaim one, I can have another, which I could put on another bridge officer or yourself. So you can use this as a filler armor if you don't have anything better to put on your bridge officers or yourself. But yep, I'm going to discard those and basically tell you it's... If you have nothing better to use, use it. But otherwise it's not something that is probably going to be any significant at all. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, ring the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Helps out the channel quite a lot, and it's free. So why not? Also, you can contribute to my Patreon membership, all that down in the description. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!